Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here, back with a brand new Fortnite video. And this one, we're going to be talking about some brand new upcoming challenges here in Fortnite Battle Royale. And a brand new mission list, which is actually going live tomorrow. So there will be a brand new Boogie Down mission list, which will be added into Fortnite tomorrow. And I do want to talk to you guys about every single challenge that will be coming out. They have actually leaked. And we're also going to go over all of the prestige challenges as well, because... I don't know about you guys, but I'm just about to hit tier 100. I've had a pretty busy week and I wasn't able to keep playing as normal. And on top of that, I actually have a hurricane hitting my house right now, but I was able to get almost to tier 100 this week. And I'm also about level 88, I think. So I'm pretty excited for this week's challenge list because we are gonna be able to get up to about tier 100. And this should be it for me this week once I finally finish out the prestige version of the challenges. So. Let me know what level of what battle pass tier you guys have reached so far and let's get right on in to this week's challenges. So this week's challenges will actually be called the Boogie Down Missions. And as you guys know, we also have those weekly missions that come out as well. So this week we have the Catastrophic Mission List and next week we're actually getting the Return. So we have the Boogie Down Mission List and we also have the Return, which is those weekly missions where the battle starts come in as well. We're going to be talking about all of those here in this video. So to get started, guys, let's go over... The weekly boogie down challenges so these are going to be the main challenges that you want to complete and also the ones that are going to unlock that prestige reward as well so these are the boogie down challenges so a lot of them have to do with dancing and going around the map but the very first challenge is going to be to hit an opponent with a boogie bomb you're going to have to do that two separate times after that you're going to have to dance in front of a bat statue a way above ground pool and a seat for giants the third challenge is to get an elimination with a shotgun and assault rifle and an SMG. After that, you're going to need to travel 100 meters while dancing. You'll also need to visit an oversized piano, destroy no dancing signs, and you're also going to have to dance while you're in the brute in different matches. So if you guys do need help with any of these challenges, keep in mind I upload guides every single week for the Fortnite Battle Royale challenges. All of the normal challenges, we also have the prestige challenges as well. These are a little bit harder, but I don't think they're going to be too bad in order to complete them. The first one is to damage an opponent affected by a boogie bomb. After that, we have to dance in front of the bat statue, the way a grub bomb pool, and the seat for giants, but we have to do it all in a single match. After that, you have to get an elimination with a pistol, a sniper, and an explosive weapon. We'll also need to dance with others to raise the disco ball at an icy airplane hangar. We will then need to play the sheet music at an oversized piano. We will also need to dance after opening a supply drop in different matches, and we will need to dance behind the DJ booth at a dance club with DJ Yonder's outfit. So the normal challenges aren't too hard, the prestige ones aren't really all that hard either, but you will have to travel quite a bit around the map, and if you guys don't know where these locations are, don't worry, because like I said, I will have you guys covered with videos, and all of them are pretty easy, it's just that you have to go to so many different locations in order to complete this week's challenges. So once you guys complete all of those challenges, there's also going to be the return challenge list. These challenges are going to be coming out once every single day. And then on Saturday, we'll be able to collect the secret battle star as well. So that's pretty cool. And those secret battle stars do give you that free tier on your battle pass. So it's pretty worth it to go and collect them. So if you guys do want to know what the return limited time challenges are, the very first day, we're going to have to get sniper rifle eliminations. After that, we'll have to outlast opponents in solos or duos. We will also need to deal damage with scoped weapons to opponents, search ammo boxes at Fatal Fields or Lonely Lodge, use different throwable items in a single match, land on top of the floating island and the meteor, and visit Loot Lake and Sunny Steps in the same match. So, although the weekly challenges usually are kind of hard and do require some guides, these daily challenges are actually super easy this week, and you shouldn't have any problem completing them for a bunch of free XP and battle stars. So that's pretty much it for me in this video, guys. Those are all of the challenges that we're going to see come to Fortnite in the next seven or eight days or so. So definitely be on the lookout for those future guides if you need help with anything. That's pretty much it for me in this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next Fortnite video.